Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. This tutorial came as a request from a user. He wanted to know how to reset the BIOS password using Hiren's boot disk. For this, you need to download and burn Hiren's boot disk onto a disk. I have a few links in the description box that can help you do this. Now, as you can see, my BIOS has a password. Can't get in there. We can't get it into the BIOS to change the boot sequence, so now we need to go into the boot menu. Sometimes it will say it like this, F10 boot menu. Different computers are different F numbers or F keys. Now once you go into the boot menu, select the CD-ROM. In this case I have two, so select the one that has the Ahirens boot disk in. When you boot from the Ahirens disk, this menu will come up. I'm going to virtualize it for better viewing. So from here, select DOS programs using the arrow keys. Next here, and then select number two, BIOS CMOS tools. Enter. And again, number two, BIOS Cracker 5.0. I'm going to go ahead and press Enter. A few windows will come up. Just ignore them. Again, press enter to continue. And it's done. Now, from what it looks, it doesn't look promising. So I'm going to go ahead and reboot the computer and go into the BIOS again. And no, I still have the password. So in this case, uh, Harris boot disk did not help me. I'm going to show you guys what actually works for me. Unplug the power cord from the computer, lay the computer down on a flat surface, and open the side panel. Locate the battery, and near the battery you'll see this jumper. Not all motherboards have this jumper. Some have a button to reset the CMOS. Some doesn't even have jumper and don't have any button. In that case, we're obligated to remove the battery. Even though we have a jumper in this case, we're still going to remove the battery. To clear the CMOS and reset the BIOS, all we need to do is move that jumper one pin aside. If you can see, you have three pins. Now move it one pin from the original position, like this. Leave it five seconds there, and then put it back. Since we have the computer open already, I'm going to take advantage of this and remove the battery. You should do the same too. When you remove the battery, make sure you, rem you remove the battery for 20 to 30 minutes. Perfect. Wait a little while and put the battery back. Now when you turn your computer back on, go into the BIOS and you should be password free. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.